Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I am JMUA, and it has been such a long while since I've seen you. I am so glad to be back. Um, as you can see, just a little life update, I've moved. Um, some things in my life have changed. We can get into that later. Today, y'all are going to be calling me C'est La Vie, because I'm going to show you how I get into my drag Persona. We're going to be doing a drag transformation today, okay? Um, so, for those of you who have never been to my channel, I am a professional makeup artist, um, and now I do drag. And so I wanted to film a drag look for you guys, show you guys how I get up in the gig. I do have some uh, things I'm going to be doing in drag later on tonight. As you can see, it is daylight right now. My plans are not until much later in the evening. Um, but I wanted to get ready and like kiki with y'all, like talk, you know? Um, so yeah, I've already prepped my skin. I put on the Laneige Glowy Serum, the Vitamin Enrich Face Base from Bobbi Brown, and also the Extra, the eye cream. I think it's called the Extra Repair Eye Cream from Bobbi Brown. I've already put that on. Um, so, I mean, let's get right into it. Okay, so y'all are nice and zoomed in so you can really get up in this mug. Um, the first step to any drag look... Okay, so just getting started before I even get into it. Drag makeup... And now, I'm a professional artist. It's a little different from doing just your regular everyday beat. So you can use your regular makeup that you have. You're just going to be using it in a bit of a different way. Um, so that being said, the first thing I am going to do is color correct. Um, this is just a Bobbi Brown color corrector. This one is the Deep Bisque. Um, I use this one because I have it. You can use whatever color corrector y'all like. I do like the Bisque color because, I don't know if y'all can see it. I like Bisque because it is that kind of, um salmon color without being too like orange um because i notice that sometimes the orange ones can kind of like leak through the foundation a bit so i'm just gonna pick some up this is my trish mcavoy um even skin face perfector brush so it's just like a little double-ended you got your little nubby side right here this i use for all my brushes are dirty. Okay, you guys, don't, do not judge me. Everything I've used, um, and I've done this before, so this is just real. Okay, this is just real. And then, so one side's a little nubby side, and the other side is fluffier. Typically, this is more for, like, foundation, um, but today we're using it, obviously, for a corrector. Um, so I already picked some up, and I'm just gonna go in. And don't be afraid of the color corrector. Because we're trying to hide the man, okay? We're trying to get rid of this um, darker discoloration. And like I said, because, okay, if this were a normal makeup look, I would only be putting corrector, like, around the eyes. You know what I mean? Okay, cute. Um, now, after you've put on your color corrector, I'm going to set this in with the Cody Airspun. I just use the um, translucent color. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the Dior Backstage, and I use the color, I think it's 3 Cool Rosy. 3 Cool Rosy. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to spray myself with a little Fix Plus. This is just to get rid of any of that powdery residue. Okay. 
Okay, now that that uh, liquid has set down, I'm going to go in with my foundation. Um, and this is just a little sponge I got on Amazon. I think this is the Paw Paw Blender, which is super cheap. They come in a pack of like, I don't know, six for like ten bucks, something like that. Um, and I'm just going to be using, this is drag, so we're going to be going in. And as y'all see, um, I didn't cover my brows because I do have shaved brows or like short little nubs. And so I'm going to use them as like a base for my drag brow. Um, and I'm just going to go in. Okay, foundation is on. At this point, usually I go in with my um, contour. And which I think I have. Sorry, you guys. Like I said, this is a new filming space, so I'm still trying to like figure out how I'm gonna do everything. Um, okay, so to contour, this is really old, you guys. Please don't judge me. This is just what I have, so I use it. Um, this is a Trish McAvoy Correct and Even Portable Foundation. It's just basically like a stick foundation. I don't know, can y'all see that? Um, and I use the shade, I don't know, what is that, six? Yeah, six. Um, and it's just like a little stick. So I avoid putting concealer um, around the eye area because I'm going to do that after I contour. Let's pull this up a little bit. And this is drag, so don't be afraid to get in there. Like, really get in there. We're, we are doing a lot of makeup today. It's not going to be, like, a natural clean girl makeup, okay? This is going to be a heavy look. So, I'm going to blend that out using the same brush. I use for my corrector and the trick to drag is just blending it enough. You don't want to blend it so much that it's not there anymore but you don't want it to look like just streaks on your face. So I'm going to start. Concealing is a process for me, okay? Um, first, I'm going to apply a nice layer, um, a little thin layer there of my Dior uh, Backstage. This is like the same collection as the foundation. Um, this one is in the shade 2N. And I like to use this because this one's very creamy and I'm very dry so I need something that's gonna um, not emphasize the dryness because drag makeup because there's so many layers so many heavy layers it can tend to look if your skin type is dry it can look dry and that's happened to me plenty of times. So I'm just applying this in my highlight areas.
and blending and oh my god I keep dropping everything you guys <sighs> oh my god that drink is so good just a little drink I mixed up myself. If you want to know the recipe, leave a comment down below. So, <laughs> so now that I have my um, base layer of concealer applied, I'm going to go in with my brightening color. This is the LA Girl... Oop, can you see that? This is the LA Girl Corrector, and I use actually the pink color. It's called Cool Pink Corrector. And girl, I got this at H-E-B. And it's one of my favorites. I honestly love it. Okay, so you just squeeze them out. Oh! And I'm gonna apply this like right here. Yeah, just like that. And I honestly love this. This one gives you that super bright, that super bright look, but without being too like ashy looking, which I love. And I have more of a cool undertone. Um, I mean, y'all can tell like with my foundation color and everything like that, I like having that more pinkiness. So having a pink like brightener for under the eyes, it just kind of makes sense. Okay. You see that, bitch? Um, and I have something new I want to try. I almost forgot. Um, but this is from the brand Beauty Creations. And it is their uh, Stay Flawless. No, no. Flawless Stay. It should be called Stay Flawless Concealer. And I'm using the white one because I wanted to get like a really bright under eye. Um, and it's already pretty bright with, like, just with the pink. Oh, it's got a nice big doe foot applicator. Like that. So I'm just going to add this, like, right under here. Ooh. This already seems nice. It doesn't seem like it's going to be, like, full, full coverage. But it does seem nice. It seems very creamy. Just like that. I just want my eyes to be like... So, I'm just getting ready today, you guys, for a um, little outing with my friends. We're gonna go do a Horror Queen film review for some horror movie. I don't even know, to be honest. Uh, my friend just told me bitch on Friday we're gonna go review a movie so get in drag and I was like okay bet so here I am and I thought it would be nice to record it since like so much has happened in my life since the last time that I've seen you guys um and I just thought it would be nice to come on here and kind of like I mean not really update you because I'm not telling you too much about what happened but just like you know say hi like check in and if you guys notice the shiny part of my hand this is actually like one of those stick on palettes um, I put this on here so that when I'm like doing my eye makeup and I'm blending creams and stuff like that I don't have to put it directly on my hand because that is hard to get off of my hand every time I end up never being able to wash it all the way off and I'm in drag and I have this big spot of like brown or white or something like that so I decided that I would you know use my little hand palettes and like not have that happen um, but yeah. But so far so good, you guys, with this concealer. It's looking pretty nice. It's giving me the brightness that I want. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry, my camera died. Um, so I just blended this eye off camera and now I'm back. Um, 
So now I'm actually about to go in and set everything in place. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to... There was something I was going to do. I can't remember. Um, but maybe I'll think of it in a second. Oh, I'm going to contour my nose, cream contour. Um, so I'm going to use the little nubby side of my brush, the little nubby side, and I'm taking my contour color, if I can get it open, and I'm just going to like contour my nose a little bit. So I have my nose contour on. Um, now I'm going to set... Uh, my face. Um, and I'm actually going to be using a new powder. This is a Tea Leclerc um, loose powder. And I actually got the shade Orchidee, which is like the pink color. I wonder if y'all can, if I can show y'all. Ooh, yeah. I don't want to drop any because it was very expensive. <laughs> but, um, I'm going to use this pink powder to set under my eyes, and then I'm going to use my good old airspun for the rest of my face. I just dropped that pink powder all over the place. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, um, now that I have my face set, I'm going to put some eyebrows. Okay, back. I have the brows on. And I'm just going to set my brow bone with some white powder. This is the one size stage white. Okay, so just like that. Um, so let's finally get started on the eyeshadow, my favorite part. Um, and today I'm basically just going to be doing kind of like a neutral, like a black smoky eye. Um, with a little bit of like a shimmer on it, which I know is like so exciting, right? Um, and I'm going to be dipping into my Natasha Denona, I mean Natasha Denona, pa uh, Danessa Myricks, my Danessa Myricks Groundworks palette. So pretty. And it's just like that, like cream and, oop. it's just like a half cream half powder palette. <clears throat> These smaller pans are the powder and then the larger pans are the creams. Um, but we're going to be sticking with like maybe these three, a little bit of this one, I don't know. We're not going to be doing anything too crazy because like I said we're doing a black smoky eye which is not like crazy, wow. right? Um, so, honey, I need a drink. I need a drink of my drink. I need to go make another one because bitch. How was y'all's day today? I've already had a long one, bitch, and now I'm here getting ready for this fucking, for this gig. Girl. Normally this process is like my chill process where I just like sit down and I don't even talk, girl. I just like put on a YouTube video or whatever the fuck, like... Maybe some music, some TV, you know, I, I watch, like I listen to a podcast or I watch something, you know what I mean? Today is Friday, um, so my friends wanted to like go do something, go have fun. And I had other stuff I had to do in addition to going out with my friends, so I had to get all of that taken care of. Now I'm finally here getting ready and... It's, it's, you know, it's going. It's going. 
I'm here. I'm alive. So what can I complain about? You know what I mean? So since this look is going to be pretty much a black, like, smoky eye, I'm going to dip into the cream side of Torlamine, which is the black from the Danessa palette. And I'm just using like this little kind of like nubby brush, if you all can see that. And I just picked up that black pomade, and I'm going to put it on the um, outer half. And this is like a cream powder type texture. So I'm just going to use this. as like a, to sketch out the look. going to do this eye for y'all to see and then I'm going to copy it on the side off camera <laughs> actually going to go in with this shimmery black from my um, Resurgence palette. This is the um, Heather Austin and Unearthly collab. So I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to put this on the lid and then I think I'm going to use this on my um, like highlight once I cut the crease and stuff.
let's cut the crease. Um, and I'm going to use, this is actually a new product I just got. So they carried this line um, at my HEB, but only like a small portion. And just the last time that I went, they had a huge section with a whole bunch of new stuff. So I had to try it. So I got the concealer, this Beauty Creations. So I got the concealer and they also had a white eyeliner. All right. I'm back. I had to refresh my drink. Mm. So good. Oh, you know what else I gotta do? <coughs> okay, so <coughs> all I did was clean up my lid with um, literally a Q-tip. And now I'm going to use that white liner from Beauty Creations to cut uh, my crease. Oh, it's looking pretty white. Okay. Okay. I live. This, this is great. The only thing I can say is that you get a lot of playtime because it is a little bit more creamy. It doesn't seem to set down. As, maybe it does set down, but it's not setting down super fast compared to like my Color Fix from Danessa Myricks. These set very, very quick. So as soon as you paint it, you have to work very quickly because it'll start to dry. You know, this one is giving me a little bit more time. It's giving me a little bit more um, play time. In the future, I might even mix them together to get like something that's thick, but still like dries relatively quickly. Do you know what I mean? We'll see. So far, I'm liking it like this. Super white. I mean, it's already looking cunt, bitch. Okay. I played with it enough. I'm going to start to set it in. Um, I'm going to use the white color from this palette. Um, the Unearthly palette. Unearthly Heather Austin. <clears throat> and I didn't get this palette because I like Heather Austin. I've actually never watched one Heather Austin video. I got it because of the colors. Because I really like the shades. And I had never used Unearthly before. And every time I buy a palette, or if there's like a special occasion and I have an excuse to buy in a palette, um, I try to get one that's different from like ones that I've tried already. Do you know what I mean? Like, I try to shop from different brands. Ooh, girl, that drink is getting to me. Um, so, like, I had never used Unearthly before, and I liked this color story, so I was like, oh, why not? I had never used Danessa before, and I thought this palette was kind of innovative, the groundwork being that it was half creams, half powders, and me being a makeup artist and drag artist, I figured, like, oh, great, I could use that. So, you know, that's why I decided on that one. Because normally, neutrals are not for me. Normally, neutrals are not my tea. Like, let another girl use them. I'm not going to use it. Okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. So, I haven't never used this color before. It's the shade Beetle from the Resurgence palette. No, Scarab. Oh, this beautiful, like, can y'all see it? It's like a gunmetal type shade. Ignore my nails. Oh, bitch. This is stunning. Stunning. I feel like I want 
something to like transition from the white into the gray. And I'm wondering if I should do creation. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's kind of like a, a blue. It's kind of like a blue to green. This one right here. Should I use that color? Did I bring any other glitter? Oh, I have glitter. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so right here where the um, gray and the the silver, I guess, it's more of like a pewter, where the that metallic and where the white meet, I'm going to pop on some of this glitter. This is the Nabla little glitter quad. And I'm using this color. It's like a... Um, it's like a blue-white duochrome. Perfect. That looks so good. <sighs> I can see little glitters like falling down in my eye. I should have put like a lash glue or something, but I honestly didn't feel like it. Oh, you know what? I did have something that I wanted to use as a base. I got this. I, look, I haven't even opened it. From Moira. It's her glitter liner. Should I just do it now? I've already put the glitter on. I could put a little more on, I guess. Oh my god. They make these, like, so hard to get into. They also sell Moira at HEB. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually like re 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 reverse it a little bit. This is the Moira glitter liner. And we're gonna pretend I don't have glitter <laughs> on already, but um, I'm gonna put the glitter liner and then put a little more glitter on top. Okay, bitch. I'm keeping my eye closed because I don't want to crease it up. I'm going to go do my other eye off camera and I will be back. Okay, so I finished my other eye off of camera as y'all can tell. Just did a little, like I said, smoky kind of moment. I'm going to add a little bit more glitter. Just because I want it to be like extra cut. Like I really want it to be extra cut. Okay. Um, so at this point now I got to do my bronzer and my powder. So uh, my face has been cooking this whole time. Now I'm going to take this is um, the Tan Glaze Skin Sheer Finishing Powder from Melt. And it just looks like this. I don't know. I don't want y'all to see the setup. But it just looks like this. Um, and I'm going to use this around the edges of my face. And I'm just dipping in with like a fluffy 
um, brush. This is also a Trish McAvoy brush. And I like her brushes because they're natural hair. And I'm just going to buff, 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 like that. And so I'm doing this over the bake, because that bake was like setting all of our creams in, and now this is giving us the definition. Can you already see like this side compared to this side? And I like, I don't know if you can tell, I have like a little white spot here, because when I was doing my eye primer, I like bumped up against my cheek. And then I do have a little fallout happening, but don't worry, because I'm going to dust all of that away. And then I'm taking that same tan powder to do this, right around the jaw, just to set all of that. Oh my god, there's just so much going on. And I'm trying to hurry up, because my friends, I still need to get dressed, and my friends are already almost done getting ready. It is currently 7.40 and I have to meet them at 9. So I only have like about an hour. <clears throat> okay. Bronzer is on. Now let's do the under eye powder. Okay. I was having a hard time deciding what I was going to do. But I'm going to take my stage white powder since my under eyes are so like pinky. And I'm going to use the stage white to dust off the pink um, bake.
Um, okay, face is blended, dusted, some would say. Now I'm gonna do my lips, la labios, para las labios. And I'm going to take, and I'm really excited, I'm really excited for this part, let me show you. Because I'm going to use my la 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 my bloody blush cosmetics venom matte liquid lipstick. I'm so excited. Oh my god, look at this packaging. This is the red. It's called um Bloodline. Oh my god so stunning um yeah this is actually like an indie brand you all know that i love like indie mu like uh indie makeup i love indie makeup so i'm so excited to be using this this is the red lipstick and i think it's gonna go together i have like the black eye um very smoky you know what i mean so i feel like a red lip is just gonna like make it pop and to line, I'm going to go in with my black um, eyeliner. This is the Double Wear Eyeliner. And I'm just going to, like, overline my lips. Oh, and on the top, I actually like to do, like, a white. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick. And we're done. Ah. Oop. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Yes, Mary. What's it here? Um, so the girls are, well, mistress is getting ready. Hold on, hold on. Let me pause my camera. Hold on. Okay, so this is the final look. Get into this mug. She's blended. She's beat. The lip is soft and blended and ombre. The eyes are serving cunt. The brows... Um, I just need to throw a lash and my outfit and hair on, and I will be right back. See you later.
Okay, you guys, I'm filming this on the fly, but here's the final look. It's just a little smoky with a little glitter. I put my hair in some space buns, pulled out the bangs. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I will check in on y'all after the movie. See you later. Okay, so this is the final look. I went ahead and got up in drag. As you can see, I put my little space bones on, my little bang. This is the makeup. The bang kind of is covering up my eyebrows, but it's fine. The lip, I actually just came back from the movies and we were eating. So the lip, it's actually still on, low key. But this is the fit. It's just a little, just a little something, you know. Just wanted to show off the the assets. But yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for um, watching, and be sure to watch Horror Queen Film Reviews on Miss Taint's channel. Y'all have a good one.